I guess one, this one could go for both of you. I imagine it was probably pretty nice to see that first, uh, your, your guys' first shots go down. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, yeah, that was, I mean, I think for both of us, it was a confidence builder today. And uh, I mean, all the credit goes to our teammates, you know, I mean, we're, the scouting report was, you know, when they, when we drive, you know, they're going to sink in. So the shots were there and we just, you know, ended up hitting them. And it seemed like when you had that first one, you just kind of like let out three weeks of frustration and, you know, kind of yell into the sky. Uh, what, what, what did it mean for you to hit the first couple there and get a little bit of confidence back? Well, first of all, I miss you guys. I feel like I haven't been here for a little while, but um, uh, I, I mean, it's just a relief. I mean, I just confidence booster, like you said. Um, I think, you know, I've been getting up reps and, um, you know, more reps I've ever had and just trying to get out of my head and it finally, you know, clicked and, you know, it, it felt good out there and somehow the crazy ones were going in and my three-quarter quarter almost winning was just, it's one of those things, but, I mean, my teammates, you know, they're the best. They always give me confidence. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how I shoot. They just always out there encourage me, um, you know, get up shots and, you know, they, they know how I can shoot and, you know, they see behind the scenes. So, um, you know, I love my team and, you know, they always have my back and, you know, they always give me confidence out there. You guys have been winning without, you know, you two giving a lot of production the last couple games. That's the most you two have combined since the Utah State game, but the first one back in December. I mean, what, what can it mean for this team if both of you guys start to do what you're, you're capable of doing here down the stretch? Uh, I mean, we, we have our goal of, you know, I mean, winning the Mountain West, and, you know, we, we know we can do it. Um, it's just about getting better, and, and, you know, our team's so balanced. You know, we have so many guys coming off the bench. Um, you know, Alex is coming off, Zach can play, um, Robin can come in, um, you know, Marcus is coming in. We have everyone, so, um, you know, individual efforts doesn't really matter. Um, it's just about everyone bringing it every night, and you can see Alex coming off the bench going, you know, 10 points, however many he had. Um, you know, we just have faith in everybody out there, and, and, and that, that's just how it goes. Can you guys talk a little bit about Paris coming off the bench and being that get that spark? Uh, that seems to um, seems to have worked. Uh, been working fairly well. Yeah, I mean, props to him. He's done a great job, and you know, he's unselfish about that type of stuff. I mean, he embraced it, and you know, I think it's been really good for him. And he, yeah, like you said, he's brought that spark, and uh, just offensively and defensively, you know, he's brought it, you know, off the bench. So it's great. I think you guys had four guys in double figures, two other guys with nine. I mean, Chandler didn't get his first field goal until that double at the very end. I mean, what does it say about this team that, that you guys can do that? Uh, I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it shows like we're deeper than people think that, you know, any person can come in and contribute uh, at any time, like Alex, you know, Paris, James Reed, you know, just everybody can contribute. And uh, defensively, we're, I mean, we're all on the same page. So, I mean, we're deeper than people think. You guys, Air Force started a couple new starters today. Um, did that throw you guys for a loop at all? Did you, did you know that was coming? How, how did that, that change anything you, you were trying to do? Not really. I mean, they, you know, they run their system of, you know, all those screens and back cuts and flares. And, you know, it's just about guarding the system. Um, obviously, no, knowing personnel, you know, obviously helps. And shooters, non-shooters, you know, which way they drive. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just guarding their stuff and, you know, doing our fundamentals and our principles in the system um, to guard them. So I didn't really throw us off just and yeah, made us made sure that you know we know the you know the system they played on offense and just got that. It's kind of kind of a game of runs there for a while, and I mean the last four minutes or so, I think uh, somewhere there you guys went on an 11-0 run. I mean, what, what kind of uh, I don't know, rally the troops in that, that those final few minutes to. to to finish that thing off. I mean, this week we've uh, definitely uh, focused on like the last four minutes. Um, I think you know, the last few games we've you know held you know decent leads going into you know four or five minute mark, and um, you know we just we focused on winning time. That's what we caught, and just um, that was a whole week, and it kind of helped out there. I know we still got to get better, um, you know, making free throws, um, all that kind of stuff. But we definitely um, focus on winning time. Um, you know, as Coach Rice called it, and just you know getting it done. Um, you know digging deeper down there, um, down the stretch, and I think that's where the 11 row run came from. So, um, you know, we definitely worked on it, but, you know, we, we want to, you know, 10 to 18 instead of, you know, 10 to a two-point game. So we want to blow it out, and, you know, we did a decent job, and we held on, but, you know, we can do a better job still. I know we kind of talked about the, the balance a little bit, but, I mean, like, you got four guys that do crack double figures. How, how nice is that as opposed to... You know, needing Chandler to go up to 25 or whoever it might be. I mean, yeah, I literally couldn't tell you who had, you know, 10 plus, and I think our kind of motto is just lose it yourself in the team and and it's working and obviously we're not going to be the most athletic and talented team but we'll be out there playing you know team ball and just playing for each other and that's just how it goes out there and you know we we love each other and that's that's why we're winning out there and it's not nothing more than that you guys have won you guys have won four in a row now you guys have lost three or four before that it's just kind of been a, 
a crazy season. We got two opposite ends of the spectrum here: the true freshman and the senior. Just, just what is it like to to be a part of a team like this that that's capable of going, seeing the highest of highs and lowest of lows? I mean, for me, it's different because you know, in high school, you know, you lose three or four, you guys got you got guys throwing in the towel saying, you know, let's just focus on next year. But I mean. With this group, it was, you know, stay together, stay tough. I mean, and it's worked. That's been our formula all year, and uh, it's paid off for sure. Uh, obviously, they went on Tuesday for a lot of reasons, but what, what are your thoughts going down there, and what do you need to do differently? Obviously, it seemed like the last time you guys played was kind of a wake-up call for you guys, especially the, how you came out in the first half. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it was a tough stretch there, but, you know, I think, you know, we've definitely gotten a lot better from those wins, and, um, you know, going down there is always tough, and you know, I'll be speaking to these younger guys how you know, pretty tough place to play down there in the pit. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, we just got to focus on ourselves, get better. Um, you know, come to practice with a chip on our shoulder as always, and get in the gym, just work on the stuff we got to work on, and just focus on ourselves, and then you know, we'll get it done. I don't think Tim Williams is going to play, but I don't know if it's for sure or not. But what, what I guess do, do you see from them, and, and uh, what did they do the, the first time that they gave you guys problems? I mean, you know, Elijah's, you know, one of the best players in the league and, you know, he can get 25, 30, 35 any day of the week and, you know, and Williams is, you know, a tough competitor, always going to glass, um, a junkyard dog. So, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll focus on ourselves and we'll see who plays, but, um, you know, they just gave us problems on the three um, and obviously, you know, it's hard coming back from a 20 point, you know, deficit in the first half. So, definitely come out strong and, you know, finish faster. Yeah, you, you mean you mean you played at the pit here a few times. Now you had memories about playing down there. I mean, it's pretty unique. You walk in, and the court's truly like a like pit. It is. Yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite places to play. I think it might have been my first place I started. My first start was there, and I remember coming on. I was pretty nervous actually, but uh, it's it's a great place to play. Great environment. Um, you know, nothing going, nothing uh, better than going down there and getting a road win at the pit like we did last year and maybe the year before. So. Um, you know, I was going to do that, play team basketball, and we'll get that W down there. Well, what is it about going on the road this year? You guys are, what, 5 and 1 conference play or something that's gotten some big wins on the road. How have you been able to do that, and how big will these final three road games be to keep that going? Uh, I think we're embracing it this year. You know, we're just embracing going on the road and playing in tough places, and it starts with Nick and JR leading us. You know, they've, they've done it before, so they have the experience on the road, and, uh, you know, yeah, we're just embracing it. and. Going there with a chip on our shoulder and trying to prove people wrong. Will this be one of the tougher ones? The, the challenges in the care. Well, how does their? I know you're not going to VA House this year. But how does their crowd rank to you know the, in the atmosphere compared to the rest of the league? I mean, it's definitely one of the ones up there. There's, you walk straight off the bench, high five everyone, and you get down the end of the bench, and there's a student section right in your face. So, and they're you know you know pretty loud with that you know the dynamics of the court. So, you know it's pretty tough, and you know we'll just take the same mentality we have on the you know the last six games and. Um, you know, Coach Rice preaches the road games, how valuable they are, and uh, you know how many we won when we won the championship back in 2014, how many we won seven or eight. So, um, you know, we're just going to do the same thing we do every time we go on the road, and yeah, get a W. Well, because we're not going to get to before we maybe. Uh, yeah. I guess, do these games down the stretch? I mean, do they feel different at all? And uh, as you head down the stretch, obviously it's important to be a tight team. I mean, maybe compare this team to some of the ones that you played on before in terms of the closeness of it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I totally agree. And you know, we we might not have like Derek, you know, the scorer and stuff like that. But you know, I think we're the most team-oriented, cohesive team. You know, that that's kind of been at BSU before, and that's just what just getting us over the line every single day and every game we play.